So for today's video, we're not really taking notes, we're just kind of going over this note sheet. We're on reading number 17, Three Acts of Stupidity by Rudy Steiner, The Floating Book, Part 2, Rudy's Journal. Um, I think that this is page 31 in your book. It may be page 30. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure my slide numbers are off because I've had to add some things to it. Um, so I just wanted to go over the reactions so that you're ready for your narrative. So at the top of your page it says Rudy is fighting his own war of sorts. However, we only know about his struggles through death and Liesel because we have that limited point of view. Rudy's not getting to tell his story. We just know what death and what Liesel know about Rudy. For the following activity, focus on one of Rudy's conflicts and write a journal entry from his point of view. Try to capture his character, his attitude, and his views. Use this sheet to gather evidence for your narrative. Um, if you're behind on the reading, you need to go back and read, and I'm going to write it down right here. You need to go back and read pages 267 to 277, because those are the pages that focus on Rudy's struggles and his conflicts, and both types of conflict are man versus man. The first one that we have is Rudy versus Franz Deutscher. I think I'm misspelling this, but hopefully you'll forgive me. And then we have Rudy versus Victor so after you read those pages you need to decide which one do you want to write about either one is fine but we are going to write a narrative um, a journal entry from his point of view so it's just going to be like a Rudy will be speaking so that'll be first person and so you're going to tell about one of these conflicts from his point of view if you would like you can write about both but you only have to write about one so once you've picked which one are you going to write about just write it into your box and then go through the story, back through those pages, and look for evidence that you can use to support your narrative. Because we want our journal entry to be based on the story. We don't want it to just be like making it up out of your own head. So look for details about either of these two boys or about what happens that you can incorporate. That means include or work into your narrative. And so you'll just write those here. And then the narrative is a separate assignment on... No, it's not. It's this assignment. I do apologize. So you'll just finish the narrative. Let me know if you have any questions. You can message me. Have a good day.